some glue work. I did the whole frame off camera because it's uh, boring. I thought I'll put some gluing in there. The frame was some work. I also put all the inserts in the frame. I'll show it later. Um, glue. Miter fast. Only downside is it has to be good in one go. Do I need some sort of yeah alignment thingy? Uh, so like this. That might be a good idea. Yeah, much nicer and fast. <laughs> fast. Uh, I also bought some feet. Look, cheesy, uh, shiny feet. But uh, so this is our machine feet, and I, I had choice of black plastic or this. So I thought, well, maybe I'll this time I'll take this. But the most important thing is that it has a swivel base. So if you would use the panels a little bit tilted over, the feet will still be standing nice and flat compared to the ones I used a year back. They did not have like a ball joint. So I bought 16 of those. And if I got the time, I'll also do the plate the base panels are standing on as well, redo them and use the same feet. So it looks like a complete set, like they were meant to be together. <coughs> oh, I tried my sock. Uh, my sock does fit, but with a lot of trouble. And the, the problem, I should have measured that before. Because I have to stretch it a lot, it doesn't reach the length I need. Uh, and I do have to measure the fabric I still have left if that length is even long enough to begin with. Because I remember I had a piece of fabric that was not long enough for the big guns and then I reordered it. So I'm not sure if I have the correct fabric to make the new socks. I think if I make it wider than this one, and I thought already this, is, this seems a bit too small. I should have uh, more length because it's not stretching. If you stretch it like this, this side becomes shorter as well. Oh, long story. <laughs> not sure if I'm going to use fabric. That's the, the main thing. I'll use in the end, but maybe not for this event. <coughs> it needs to be uh, black. If I use fabric, and even if I don't use fabric. Uh, probably not going to do the back side. At least not for now. So it doesn't have to be incredible pretty if it's gonna use fabric. It's just so you cannot see the wood through the fabric. And if I use it without fabric, at least it has some color instead of just bare MDF. And of course, when the ribbons are installed, I cannot spray it anymore. So better do it now, just in case. I'll leave it here until it doesn't stink anymore. Then it may come inside. Now I have to draw up the feet. And the last thing I'll do is making the foils. Because uh, it's not the fun part, but after that you can actually listen to them. 
so it's nice if all the other stuff is done otherwise I know how that what will happen oh I still have to make the feet but uh, well maybe tomorrow blah 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 so change of plans I wanted to make the feet first then do the rest but there's one but I don't have enough wood I think to make feet for the big guns so that's a problem and I'm not too sure yet if I want to make it stand alone well I wish but it all depends on how low you can cross it and the reason is the base panel might be too far away from the tweeter to blend in well so option two is bolt the current tweeter housing to the original big guns and then I only need one feet so I'll wait with the feet uh, even that is not a great choice because there's the big guns have wood on the sides to make it like uh, you know stable so it doesn't fall apart and the tweeter has as well normally if you would you know if you design it with this in mind that it becomes one loudspeaker you only have one piece of wood in between or not even a piece of wood in between who knows making the tweeter uh, makes making it possible to the, to have the tweeter closer to the base panel uh, and now I don't have that option so even if I bolt it together it might be closer together than stand alone but then again it's still rather far away so yeah I just don't know that's what you get if you have if you do not make something completely from scr scratch I mean the base panel and its housing was already designed for another purpose so it doesn't fit the thing I might want to do with it well anyhow um, I'm gonna stick some magnets on the metal and uh, I took a real fast peek if I can use the magnets without using any glue now this is tricky if they fall over magnets will come off and will make a mess then again I'm making this for the first time gluing every magnet is possible but takes time and it's very annoying if I decide to do it differently because yeah I have to unglue them all and clean them all etc so I'm going with the temporary fix you know what that might be a good idea when I think of it maybe just give this a slight coating of let's say 30 enough or something then let it completely dry. Uh, 30 nf becomes like uh, latex kind of rubbery like a balloon which might give this metal more grip than it has right now and then this might be a good idea of doing it. I might try that on one of the other panels. I'm gonna clean it with some cloth and alcohol By the way, this is uh, Zensimir steel, so it's um, steel with uh, zinc coating, I think. You can hear a raspy sound. That's the cutting edge, or the cut edge. Oh no, it's dried out almost. God damn it. I'll add a little bit of water. I think it's just the skin. Um, yeah, a piece of M5. Yeah, it has a skin on top of it. Yeah. cannot throw it into the garbage like this because it will never come out you can dilute this a little bit with water the only problem is that it also uh, changes the surface tension of the or viscosity well mostly surface tension so water tends to beat up uh, like you get droplets alcohol doesn't but I'm not sure this is diluted with 
there is a, a percentage of water in here so that should work alcohol and water mix as well so maybe I could have used alcohol but I think it really depends which kind of alcohol might need to test that but because I believe one of them makes it like a blob and the other one does dilute it uh, and I rather not add too much water because it will not dry like a continuous film so I rather replace water if I have to dilute it with something else but I need to find out what it was I did it once before and I think I had the wrong alcohol and uh, it made it even more terrible than it was so I use often just a cheap sponge as a foam brush because foam brushes are like they're nicer and way smoother but every time you use a foam brush it's like two and a half euros and you can only use it once even if you want to give it a second coat uh, a half an hour later the, the foam brush is fucked so you can just use a sponge like this and use this edge if you want the foam brush action and this is one euro for a gazillion sponges gazillion really that much slightly less one um, so I'm just gonna give it a a coat oh. I'm gonna put this on the um, heater that's nice about 30 minutes you can uh, speed up the drying with just some heat really goes really fast okay now we wait <laughs> so that's funny. Glue version. I have to push much harder on the metal to move, make it move. Uh, so let's see what a magnet does. Ah, we shied up. Let, let use my reference magnet. This is the correct way. And I want to start off from this side. Oh yeah. This is creepy. This works. Cool. Compared to... Let's grab a new row of magnets. This is how I received them. With a piece of stuff in between. Oh no! One magnet down. See if I can assemble it like this now. Yeah, this is a good this is a good idea, I think. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Cool. I've learned something today. Okay, so I'm gonna do all of this. another one done Ow. so <clears throat> I uh, added um, foam as you can see here I made a rich 
uh, yeah well normally you have the metal spacer membrane spacer metal or something else in this case I have only one spacer and I made a groove in here that is the same distance as a normal spacer so the frame is also a spacer uh, what is nice about it is that the round over edge here is closer to the foil that's one thing but there's also a downside which is the frame is part of the speaker which uh, well normally I would like to have separate drivers so you can replace a driver if something is fucked but that's not the way this is made and then I glued all four uh, pieces of metal to one of the spacers just with a few dots of glue so you can handle it as one piece because it's annoying if it falls apart all the time and also add a here the foam foamy bits so these foamy bits will line up with the foamy bits in the frame and the membrane will be sitting here and will be squished in between the foamy bits not sure yet if the foamy bits maybe are a little bit too tall and what is also a problem usually with this foamy although it's really soft is that it's not everywhere as dense or or fluffy so sometimes the membrane becomes a bit wobbly I have a different foam uh, but I first want to try this I'm, I'm pretty sure it will work but uh, it, it could be better maybe but this is not the time to experiment with all kinds of foam I think so now I have to do one more frame like a, a big frame and three more panels damn this is this adds up all this work thought it would be uh, almost done but uh, yeah I also added the inserts as you can see all the thousand inserts and here is this uh, slot or groove where this foam uh, will be sitting I noticed a weird thing though oh is that here here is the full I have a full f foamy width to fit in there and here I don't so that's weird. I did fit the panel, so it does fit. But I'm not yet sure why it is... Well, it is what it is. It is different. Yeah. Ah, I see what happened. I might use a chisel and fix that. At least make it the same as this one. That's what I'll do. So I fixed it. So now this can be sitting here just like this side better it's annoying if it's not the same not sure if it really matters but uh, at least it, it looks better